Hey, it's Chris here today from Huckle Equipment, and today's video is you'll see behind me we have the M7060 Kubota uh, with an N82 Normand hybrid blower set up behind it. So in today's video, we'll do a quick overview of the 7060, but spend a lot of time talking about that uh, that blower, as well as at the very end, we're going to take the whole unit out and demo it so you can get an idea of how efficient it is. Okay, um, so a quick overview of the 7060. You know, it is the unit behind me. So starting at the front there, uh, you have a choice of buckets. So as you see, there's none on there, because, well, we're running short of them. You're either gonna be choosing between a 72 or 82. Most people are gonna go with the 82, because it's gonna, gonna be wider than your front tires, or actually wider than the tractor complete, because as it sits with, even with these wide tires on it, is roughly 80, 81 inches, so. But there is a multitude of buckets. Again, it has Allo Quick Attach here in Canada, so you could choose, by and large, a lot of different buckets, but uh, generally speaking, it's gonna be either 72 or 82. After that, you're gonna be choosing between loaders here in Canada. So we have the Allo uh, loader here, the M32, which has been branded for a Kubota tractor. A very popular unit for us. We like to sell a lot of the Allo loaders. They're a very tough, durable unit. After that, you will have the choice of a Kubota, the LA1154. Uh, again, uh, we've talked a lot about the drawbacks of the Kubota ones. Uh, they are a little bit cheaper though, and do perform just as well. The lift capacity on either one's roughly 2,800 pounds. Uh, again, uh, so they are both gonna perform for you, just a matter of which one will do the job better for you. And that's what you'd wanna talk about with your local dealer uh, to see which one would be the right one for you. Whenever you move a little bit farther back and you start talking about uh, the tires themselves, lots of different options out there more than i can list in a short video but there are those uh, standard narrow egg ones you know you can get them cast center or steel steel rim kind of idea they're the cheapest ones we like to sell these radials um, you know they're nice and wide uh, with cast centers to make it nice and heavy to really help uh, make this tractor a really heavy set unit. Again, you can get into specialized tires, whether you're doing some row cropping. Uh, up here, we do a lot of uh, commercial snow blowing with these units. And with that, you'll generally have the Nokian radials on there. Again, they are specialized snow removal tire, uh, very popular, uh, but very expensive. So it depends again, which one will work best for you. And then you start talking about the engine. It is a four cylinder Kubota diesel in there. You're gonna be pumping out about 70 horsepower through that. And then your PTO horsepower is gonna be roughly 64. And then when you start talking about transmissions, you're gonna either be choosing between an eight speed and a 12 speed. Most people are going to go with the 12 speed, not just because it gives you more options of, of gears, but you also get a, a, a larger hydraulic pump. So whenever you're looking for output on that or or cycle times on your loader, it's gonna be more important to you. Again, not that the eight speed won't perform or anything, it's just a matter of giving you more options, uh, but there's gonna be a little bit larger price tag on the 12 speed. So wanna have a conversation, see which one would be best suited for yourself. Uh, the cab itself, pretty awesome. You know, you're gonna be able to come standard with hydraulic shuttle no matter which one you go with. It's a long-term option that's uh, been available on multitude of different brands and, and uh, just works great whenever you don't have to clutch to go forward reverse. After that, Kubota has a very comfortable seat in there. Usually, I harp on that, that they uh, they don't have nice ones. Well, this one comes standard with an excellent seat that you could upgrade to an air ride if need be on that base. Um, really, the only drawback to that whole cab is uh, you have to go up to the M4D yet to, if you wanted a buddy seat. And then after that, it, is, it doesn't come standard with the LED lights. Hopefully in the near future, we'll see that. But again, it is one of the drawbacks. You can get, uh, you have great heat and air conditioning in there. Uh, so it'll either cook you out on a day like today or freeze you out in the middle of summer. So, and then your lift capacities on that three point hitch are roughly 3,500 pounds. You just match up your implement to whatever you're looking for. Speaking of implements, let's now jump to that back and talk about that Norman snowblower. So now we move to the back here and we're talking about the N82-260 hybrid inverted blower from Norman. So this is their commercial snowblower. It is obviously 82 inches wide, so it gets you a little bit wider than the, than the tractor itself, and it has a 26 inch fan in there. Some of the other key features you're gonna to wanna to know is the depth of that fan. So it's 11 inch fan, huge fan in there. Well, where is the fan? It is actually in underneath here. So whenever we get to the hybrids, obviously that auger has been moved back to the back here, fan up above to really push out that snow. You know, we have other videos out there demonstrating the benefits of the end model unit for the commercial aspect of it. Uh, it does make it a little bit more expensive. They do come standard with hydraulic rotate and hydraulic deflector. So you just wanna be mindful of that if you are looking at purchasing it, you're gonna need a second set of remotes or, or two sets of remotes depending on the tractor. Being this blower itself, it being 82 inches wide, you're normally gonna see it on a 5460, 6060 Kubota or in this case up to a 7060. Again, the 
any tractor after this gets too wide and like even a 4760 gets a little bit light um, for this unit. You could put it on, um, you just wanna be mindful that if you are doing commercial snow blowing, uh, you may want a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more heavy of a tractor uh, to really have it perform. Especially whenever that fan has those four blades uh, pumping out there, you really wanna make sure that it's, uh, it's staying there um, and, and on the ground. One thing we highly recommend if you are doing the commercial aspect of it is to put a rear actuator on the tractor uh, to really take that bounce out because if you're going down the road, uh, and, and at full speed, because everybody is doing that, um, and you, you hit a pothole, you can get that bounce, you can run into three-point hitch issues where uh, some things are cracking or breaking. Um, you know, I, worst case scenario is I've seen a 135 Kubota split in half whenever it was going full blow with, uh, with a big blower on the back. So always put a rear actuator on, it's really gonna help you, especially in the commercial aspects. This blower itself at 82 inches does weigh 1,100 pounds. So it does match up really well with that, with that three-point hitch. Just, again, be mindful of that, that bouncing. These are the blowers you're gonna see on the market now. Again, we've talked about it before, is the old style uh, inverteds uh, left a lot. Well, not a lot, but they had a few issues. Uh, you know, like the snow, whenever you went up to the back of somebody's driveway, would always leave a gap. So you, you know, you could put like a hydraulic blade on it, drop it down to drag that snow forward. Uh, you know, that got expensive. Whenever you lifted the blower at the end of the driveway, there was always a gap between the auger and the fan there. So there was a lot of snow built up in there that would then be dumped. And you know, you run in that too, whenever it was a front snow bar rear blower too, you'd run in that same issue. Whenever you get up to the hybrids, and you, we'll demonstrate it today, as soon as I lift that blower up, there is virtually no snow under there. Um, and it will clean up. Your sight lines are amazing, whether it's a big tractor like this or the smaller 6060s, your sight lines are are perfect that you're able to see that back corner. One other feature that is great for this size of blower and from uh, from Norman is it is hard ox steel. That's where you get that toughness, that ruggedness out of it, especially in the commercial aspect, without getting super heavy. A lot of them say that it's three to one. That one pound of hard ox steel is equivalent to three pounds of regular steel. So if this was made out of regular steel, it would be over 3,300 pounds. So this is how they keep the weight down and still have that performance with it is that hard ox steel. So, yeah, so those are some of the key features. Um, some of the other things you want to kind of know about uh, that is where your shear bolts are and how to access some things. So you'll see in there here, it is froze shut today. It is about minus uh, 20 out. So I tried to open it already uh, off camera. Basically is in under here is where you get access to the fan. So if it ever does plug up on you or you suck up a newspaper or something and you need access to the fan, it is three quick, easy levers here. You can get directly into there. And then there is a nice black cover over there, um, easily marked. That's where you're gonna find your shear bolt for the auger. Um, and then your fan one is on the PTO. Uh, again, it is under a nice cover there um, on the PTO shaft. Easy to access, easy to get to. So yeah, the tool on the side there kind of gives you access to uh, a few different things, uh, you know, to unclog it. One other thing you should know is about a nice rounded chute here. So it isn't square like what you see on the Econor series. It is nice and rounded. The reason they spend extra time to do that for a nice rounded chute is, well, it's easier to get round things or to fire things up through a round hole than a square hole. Things aren't building up in the corners. So it's great, it works. Um, that is what you should know about the Normans. So now let's jump out and uh, try this out so you can see how well, well it works and how efficient it is. Um, so that brings us uh, to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing that Norman perform out there. As you can see, it's uh, a great day for it. Being as cold as it is, it uh, really dries out that snow, makes it nice and light and, and easy to throw. Um, after that, uh, a couple things uh, you should know too is it's nice and easy to get your grease points. Um, whenever you are hooking up to these uh, blowers, there's a couple different holes there. Makes the makes it for your unit. So whether it's a smaller Grandel or a bigger M76 like this, it's always easy to get to. Um, after that, uh, for the commercial guys, there is a different, few different choices of uh, cutting edges. Um, if you are looking for, it comes standard with the plastic, but you can get Tyvar or steel, uh, depending on what you're looking for. And then uh, whenever you look at your skid shoes, again, pretty awesome is they are spring loaded. So uh, all things you wanna know. Uh, and if you did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please down below. Thank you.